for encouraging us to do more. God bless you. Shalom. I'm not driving too fast. I'm now convinced you are mad. Will you stop driving fast? Ah, oh, little wonder you have been drinking. So you think I'm drunk, isn't it? Now I'm going to show you who the drunkard is. Give me my money, I'm not going anywhere. I will show you who the drunk card is. Where is the result of this brain scan? I'm afraid not much improvement has been made. I'm sorry. Doctor, isn't there any help you can do for us? Well, sincerely, I wish I could help. But you see, the damage done to his brain a year ago was so severe. Honestly, I wish I could help. Oh my God. And it will be a very big risk to undertake another operation now. It's unfortunate. Doctor, do you mean there's nothing you can do for us again? I'm sorry. Auntie, Auntie. Anyway, please use that concussion Baba gave to you. This is not my first time in visiting Baba. Hmm. I know as soon as Uncle Ben uses it, everything is going to be alright. Hmm. Bosse, Ma. I'm very grateful. Yes, ma. I hope this one works. It's going to work. Because he has suffered a lot from this ailment. My daughter. <laughs> Baba, as I said earlier, I've been applying the substance. But his condition hasn't improved. Is she a genie? Oh, is she a genie? But our river goddess of benevolence will turn your sorrow into joy. Eh? When and how soon? Ah, my daughter, say I share for us. I share. I share. Uh -huh. Put it in his pack. Let him take it. It will be all right. Hmm? Mama, hmm? I hope this will work. Ah, 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 it will work. Just put it in his pack. Hmm? It's okay, fool. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Let me give you some. Thank you. 
Honestly, I'm worried over your husband's condition. Tino, how do I explain the extent of my loss to? Nothing is impossible before God. I suggest to see my pastor. <laughs> Tino, I can't count the number of churches that I've been to. Look there, the age of miracle has gone forever. Don't take it that way. Mm? Our God is the same yesterday, He's the same today, and He's the same forever. Mm? Please, He makes everything beautiful in His own chosen time. Let's try and see Him. Let's see Him. My regards to everybody at home. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Person sitting next to you that it is well. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, the magnitude of the goodness of God in my life cannot be mentioned. And that is why I'm standing before you this day to renounce and denounce that I am no more Ogumbemi but Oluwagbemi. The Lord is good. Put your hands together for Jesus. For 10 years, my husband and I have been looking for a child. Until two years ago, we were introduced to this church and Pastor Samuel prayed for us. Ah, today we are blessed with a set of twins. It's for a vision that it was my niece that was responsible and we were asked to bring her here. Maria, why are you doing this? Don't call me Maria. My name is Mandalin. Mandalin? Who gave you that name? Your questions are too much. Anyway, my parents did in our realm. What other companies do you have in your evil realm? It is a place far from evil. What more do I need? I have friends, husband, and four kids. But you are too small. You are not yet fit for marriage. You are young. You are only 17 years old. I'm 30 years old in Amre. <sighs> So, tell me, what is your mission here? To punish my hands. She was wicked to the children in the neighborhood. So we decided to take her womb. Now tell me, where is the womb right now? It is hung on the Iroko tree, where we meet every night. Are you ready to receive the Lord Jesus as your master? Are you ready to be saved? Save. <laughs> no, no one can conquer the spirit of me. me. Lucifer, Lucifer is our master. master. I and we made, made a promise to live, to live with him forever. Now, in the name of Jesus, I cast you out. Come out! No way! Come out! 
in Jesus' name. Come on! My niece seated there. She is now a born again child of God. Praise the Lord. And because the scripture says in Exodus 5 4 that when you make a vow, you do not defer to pay it all, it has no pleasure in fools. If you make a vow, you have to pay it. Amen. And to show appreciation of what God has done to our family, we are presenting a brand new Mazman car to our pastor. bless these people. Amen. He will take them to greater heights in Jesus' name. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. 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 The Lord will bless each and every one of you. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to recognize some of our prominent workers in this church. And I'm doing this because the Bible says we should give honor to whom honor is due. And we'll be elevating some of them to various posts in this church. One of which is a brother that is hard working in this church. I'm sure a lot of you will notice he is... Um, good works, and the Bible says, let your works so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father that is in heaven. So, Brother Ben, or Diale, is being elevated to the post of assistant pastor. You all know Brother Ben, you know he's a wonderful brother. And he, the hand of the Lord is upon him. So we are giving him this post. And we trust that the Lord will help him to continue to be faithful. Yeah. Amen. In where the Lord has planted him. Amen. Amen. Brother Ben, the Lord bless you. Amen, sir. Praise the Lord. I'm happy that the Lord has done it today. When I joined this church three years ago, I came as a mentally retarded person. Praise the Lord. But my daddy in the Lord, Pastor Samuel, prayed for me and I got healed. Praise the Lord. He said it is only God that can heal. And if you are having any kind of affliction, any kind of problem today, Everything is solved by the power of the Lord Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Ah! 
How are you? Welcome, sir. Hey, brother, you welcome, me. The Lord bless you. Oh, bless you, sir. This is Sister Niola. How are you? Ah, oh, my brother, how are you? Thank you. How Fine, you? sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <sighs> how was the Bible study yesterday? Oh, it was beautiful, sir. Uh, the Holy Ghost really moved. Praise God, praise God. How is your wife? Oh, she's fine, sir. Ah, very fine, sir. Hey, praise God. You're all welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank so, you, sir. what do I owe this visit? Uh, oh, well, sir, uh, we are here to see you concerning an issue that has been bothering our minds for quite some time now, sir. Um, as you can see, the Church of God is growing on a daily basis, and uh, we feel that uh, we need to have another branch of our church somewhere else just to expand the, the level of the word of God, sir. And that's the reason why we have all come here. I see. Uh, I'm sure you are all in support of what um, Brother Tunji has just said. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, sir, I think there is a need for the church to expand, sir, for God's glory. And, uh, sir, we also feel that uh, Brother Ben can be pastoring the flocks in the new church, sir. <coughs> um, sir, you can attest to my character concerning God's work. I'm ready to bear the cross, and I'm seriously capable of carrying out the task. Oh, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> mm, well, that's all right. Uh, but uh, to be candid, I haven't yet received any specific instruction from the Holy Spirit uh, concerning setting up a new branch for now. But however, um, let's all just continue to pray and be in the Spirit because our God is an awesome God. And um, let's see what will happen. Yes, sir. Is that okay? No, right, sir. It's all right, sir. It's all right, sir. No, no, Shall never hear. How can the new assistant pastor take the offering to his house for special anointing? <laughs> and how do you expect miracles, healings to happen in a pastor's pot of soup which has been empty for days? <laughs> this is so wonderful. You see, Brother Tunji. I've been in this church for about five years now. And um, I think it's time for me to point out certain things. I need to let you know. I must confess, things are not going on well in that church. And what could that be? I was thinking that we should just be giving glory and honor to God for the wondrous things he's been doing in that church. <laughs> yes, we give glory to God. But we all work, we work day and night. We fast and pray, but all the praises goes to the pastor. <laughs> but I believe that is only normal. It's not, it's not normal, Brother Tunji. Mm. Look at us, we are strong workers in the church. We deserve all the praises and attention too. So all the good things of life too, we, 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 we're entitled to them. You can't restrict them to just Pastor Samuel alone. Prison with me. Mm. I, I can see some sense in that. Uh -huh. You're right. At least we are elders too in the church. And I believe a little attention to us shouldn't be harmful. Now you're getting my point. Praise 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is what we keep saying about giving to the Lord. In the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8, it says, How do you rob God? You rob God in tithe and offering. Brethren, you have to learn to give to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm not a robber in Jesus' name. What about you? I won't be a robber in Jesus' name. Now tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I won't be a robber in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Ah, silence. Total silence. The Lord is speaking to me. Yes. The Lord says he's going to make 10 people millionaires this year in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Um, the Lord is saying that 10 people will be made millionaires. If you are the one, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm going to be a millionaire. I don't know how to be a millionaire. God bless you. Amen. You are going to be millionaires this year if you can afford to give him 50,000 naira. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. I, I won't lie because I'm a child of God. I'm an oracle of the living God. God told me 10 people, just 10 people, 50,000 naira, 50,000 naira. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just three of you remaining. God bless you. The Lord, oh, wait, wait a minute. The Lord is telling me if you can afford 20,000 naira, 20,000 naira, 10 people, join them. A round of applause to Jesus. God bless you. Oh, just five of you, the Lord of prosperity is going to prosper you. Now come, let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, these ones have come to sow their substance to you, Lord. Father, Lord of prosperity, you have told me in your word. Lord, you are going to make them millionaires this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. For those who cannot afford to give, Lord, give unto them. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Ushers, you can collect the offerings from them. Keep them in the box. God bless you. Thank you very much. A round of applause to Jesus. You see, my God is not a God of half measure. He gives you in full. Whatever you ask for, he gives to you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All the desires of your heart shall be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. Rise. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. Um, come, come. Um, you are in the choir, yes. aren't you? Yeah. Okay, God bless you. Thank and you. Um, um, say me well to your mom when okay. you see her, okay? And um, God bless you. God bless you. Mm. Uh, good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon. I would like to see Pastor Sam. Ah, no problem. When you see me, you have seen Pastor Sam. I'm only joking. <laughs> he has gone for a conference. Uh, can I help you? Uh, so I have a little problem that I want to discuss with him. Problem? Is there any problem too big for God to solve? Out with it. Uh, I'm diabetic and uh, I need God's miracle. I've been to several hospitals, all to no avail. Uh, I want him to pray with me. Despite all efforts, my sugar level is still very high. Oh my God. You see, you children of God shouldn't be going through all these problems. You have to test the Lord. Bring a sum like uh, 50,000 naira. Don't be shocked. Huh? It's good for you. You pay and uh, you see if God will not answer your prayers. So uh, I don't have 50,000 Naira. I have just 15,000 on me. Um, let's see what the Lord will do. Um, well, I will help you in the name of uh, helping the poor. I will help you. We're being taught in the Bible to help the poor, okay? And um, drop it here. 
Hmm. God bless you. I command you, spirit of diabetes, to be removed from this man's life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sir, I give 15,000 naira to the pastor I met here. He said you were away to Kenya on a conference. Huh? Sir, I don't. You gave him 15,000 naira? For divine healing, sir. And I'm still suffering from diabetes. He, he, he said, he, uh, uh, Okay. It is well. Amen. Uh, let me just pray for you. And I'm sure the Lord will touch you. Father, you are a merciful God. Lord, touch this your son. Touch his body. Amen. Lord, let him receive divine healing Amen. into his body. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. It is well, sir. Fifteen thousand naira for divine healing. Divine healing is free. Sir, Chief Estos is here to see you. Okay, let him come in. Ah, you're welcome, sir. Good afternoon. Sir. Hey. Stop. Like I told you on phone minutes ago. I'm sorry, but you see, I don't know whether I was hypnotized, whether a spell was cast on me. The fifty thousand that I gave as the seed I was sowing was the money I wanted to use to pay my children's school fees. Now we are in a new year, and I can't see the signs of millions coming my way. Um, Chief, uh, like I said earlier on, uh, please just give me some time and I'll get back to you so that I can find out exactly what happened. Uh, please, I'll get back to you. It is well, it is well. Pastor Ben, uh, can you come to my office right away? Well done, sir. Pastor Ben, what is all this I'm hearing? All these things about collecting 15,000 naira to pray for a diabetic patient? Don't mind him, sir. He gave the money to the church voluntarily. But he said you demanded for 15,000 naira from him before you pray for him. Ben, this man is not so rich as to want to voluntarily donate 15,000 naira to the church. <laughs> it's very funny, Pastor. What of Chief Festus, who said you demanded 50,000 naira from him? Ha! <laughs> this is very funny. I didn't dip my hands into their pockets. They donated it to the church voluntarily. Uh, Pastor Ben, is there any record on this donation in the church account? <sighs> but, sir, the church needs money to grow. We need money. Highly disappointed in you. What sort of nonsense is this? You of all people? Whatever God gives is free. Never merchandise the anointing of God upon your life. Never! You have to stop this bad practice. You have to find a way 
to refund the money. Moreover, you do not have any moral, spiritual, or ethical justification for what you have just done. Oh. Uh, well, sir, I would accept that in good faith. Refund the money? <laughs> the money I shared along with elders of the church? This man is not serious. is treating uh, Pastor Ben. I, I believe that uh, the Lord wants me to move on. Really? Yes. Hmm. You have to be very, very careful, Brother Charles. Very, very, very careful. You see, the devil rears his ugly head anywhere there is peace, love, and unity. You see, we have need to give peace a chance. And you always preach peace, peace, peace. Look at you. Uh, anyway, uh, may the peace of Pastor Sam be with you. Uh, as for me, if Pastor Ben makes up his mind to leave the church this very moment, I will go with him. If, uh, if I am for Paul and you are for Apollo, is that not being carnal? Does that even divide Christ in any way? No. Matthew chapter 12, verse... Uh, Verse 15 tells us that a house divided against itself will come into desolate. Let us work together in peace, in unity. You see, this unity destroys God's work. I hear you. I, do, I have made up my mind. <laughs> Why? 
You see, in the church, we as elders, we are expected to resolve every crisis, not to fuel uh, any crisis at all. Whenever there is any form of disagreement, we are supposed to, to resolve. Remember uh, Brother Peter, anytime he got up to speak among the congregation, everybody kept quiet. Well, my mind is made up. Pastor Ben leaves, I follow. Wait, 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 wait. You don't need to do that. Brother Charles, have you come here to worship God or to worship a, a man? If you believe that you exist for God and not for, for any man, your purpose will be to worship uh, God and not uh, any pastor. And remember that you were made by God and for God. The moment you realize that, my brother, your life will make sense to you. If not, it will never make any sense to you. Look here, Brother Joseph. I follow the light of God through Pastor Ben, period. But, Mommy, I cannot understand why the children of God are divided over trivial issues. My sister, you need to pray so that the devil does not have a foothold in the church. Honestly, these problems are weighing me down. Mm. I can't concentrate any longer on my spiritual life again. You should concentrate on the worship and think less of what is happening in the church. Mm. Yes, I am trying to keep them off my mind. But the higher I try, the more it keeps coming to me. Anyway, I pray for God's guidance. But honestly, the earlier these issues are resolved, the better for the church as a body. You are right. We shall continue to pray that the Lord touches the heart of the church leaders. Okay. Well, well. <gasps> Pastor Ben, we've had so many disturbing reports. Um, that's why we are gathered, you know, to clarify and confirm some issues. And I'd like to go straight to the point. Uh, Pastor Ben. Are you responsible for Sister Veronica's daughter's pregnancy? Sir? I, I sincerely hope this is not cheap blackmail. I mean, Pastor Ben cannot be involved in such a mess. God bless you, my brother. Uh, excuse me, sir. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm talking about Rose, Sister Veronica's daughter. I mean, the women's leader's daughter. I don't know of any rules. You're out of your senses, uh -huh. sir. Uh -huh. And you still have the right to ask silly questions here. Yeah. It's alright. Ah! <laughs> Sister Veronica, please. Look, do not let the devil take control in this matter. Eh? Just be calm. Be patient. Don't get angry. We will resolve this issue. Come on, Sister Veronica. Let's try and resolve this issue amicably. For goodness sake, sit down. Please. It's all right. We all understand. After all, we are all parents. Madam, I would advise that you go and scold your daughter very well so that she can tell you whoever is responsible for her pregnancy. Are you now telling me she's a child? Eh? But why am I being harassed this way? Why? Mm, uh, uh, Pastor Ben, Pastor Ben, please, please. Nobody is trying to harass you. We just want to get to the bottom of this matter. And we all know that everything is clear and open before God. God sees all things. And on the day of judgment, all things shall be revealed, both good and bad. Beg your pardon. What? I've had enough of that trash. Uh, 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 Pastor Ben, do you realize what you are saying? Please, sir. If you don't know how to mediate in matters like this, I would advise that you please shut up! Pastor Ben! Watch it! Pastor Ben, are you insulting me in the presence of the elders, publicly? Sir, please shut up. Please. I told you all, he's a rascal. Can't you see that? Nonsense. Pack of useless gossips. Excuse me. Hey. Pastor, just take things easy. Just take it easy. Yeah, sorry, Pastor, please. Well, 
Just ah. take it to the pastor. Okay. We'll see you later. Okay. We'll see you later. Pastor. I'll see you all in the evening. All right, sir. Hey. When will all this mess come to an end? Ah, unbelievable. Within a few weeks, so much atrocities have been perpetrated. So they were just waiting for me to travel so that they could plunder the church. Tony? Huh? This is you. But what do I do? Let me refer you to 2 Timothy chapter 2. As a servant of God, you must not strive, but be tolerant. Therefore, you must pray for wisdom to govern the flock. Pray for patience to lead the flock. Because Moses failed to take the Israelites to the promised land because of his bad temper. The ultimate goal for you and I and others to be saved. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Wisdom to govern the flock. Yes. Wisdom. Patience. Yes. To lead the flock. Yes. So that they and we all can be saved. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! Amen! So you see, my brethren, God hates rebellion. Now, turn with me in your Bibles to Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 27. Now, Moses is speaking over here. He's speaking to the children of Israel. And listen, for I know thy rebellion, thy stiff nakedness. Behold, while I'm yet still alive with you this day, you have been rebellious against the Lord. And children of God, what did God promise those that act in rebellion? Huh? Those that rebel against God, God had a promise for them. Now, let's turn to Deuteronomy 32, 23 and 24. Quickly, let me have somebody read for me. I will heap mischiefs upon them. Yes, I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. Yes. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat. They shall be burnt with hunger. Go on, go on. And with bitter destruction. I will also send the seeds of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. Yes. You see, God views rebellion jealously. Bitter destruction awaits anyone who goes against the will of God. Bitter destruction. It goes against anyone who... Hey! hey. Mr. Pastor, or whatever you call yourself, if you want to insult us, why don't you just go ahead and do it directly? Who also betide you for going against the church? Yes, Pastor Samuel. Pastor Samuel, why do you want to destroy, scatter the church you have used years to build with your hands and sweat? Why? But for what circumstances? Who are you to talk to the pillars of this church? Minister of God. Get lost with all the nonsense things you are saying. Minister of God. Please, this is uncalled for. You are in God's presence and you have no respect. For your creator, come on, shut up. What is this, Pastor Samuel? Now, your God, so as old as you are, he has cooked with you, too. See? Pastor Samuel, it is so shocking to realize that you are such an ingrate. You have forgotten those who supported you even when the going was tough. When you went on your six month conference to Kenya, I stayed behind and assisted you solidly. 
I prayed for the blind to see. I prayed for the barren, they had children. I prayed for the poor, the good Lord answered their prayers. I prayed for the lame, they walked. Now that things are going on well, we have suddenly become disabled. We don't know how to do it anymore. I leave you to your church, Mr. Know It All. I'm going to leave you to run your church the way you like it. Count me out. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, let us pray. Father, you are a merciful God. Oh, yes. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Amen. Have mercy on them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hello? Is that Sister Ruth? Who is speaking? Oh, it's me, Cecilia. How are you and the family? It's good to hear your voice. Sister Ruth, I, I learned that you have stopped going to church completely. And I'm surprised that you took such a rash decision. That shouldn't surprise you. The church is a place of worship. A place to worship the living God. When you now toss turn such a uh, sacred place into a boxing arena where church workers engage in assault, evil, pertinence, and all sorts. I felt I can no longer belong to such ungodly and riotous environment. Sister Ruth, Pastor Samuel is the root cause of all the problems in the church. He's very arrogant and he's not spiritual. You could see the way he was irritating, ordering my husband about before we decided to leave the church. And in our new church, we have freedom. And where there is freedom, there is liberty. Eh? Is that true? Yes, that is true. That is true. Our rules and regulations are not as strict as Pastor Samuel's church, where people tell you what to do and what not to do. Forgetting that our God is not autocratic. He's a democratic, loving, and merciful God. <sighs> I'm happy that you now know that Satan has taken control of that church. Now, instead of you staying indoors, why can't you switch over to my husband's church, where God is much alive, and where God is using my husband to perform wonders and miracles? Okay. I will think about it. I don't want you to delay your coming. Come over to Jesus and experience the joy of salvation. I will be looking forward to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hmm. Hello, good afternoon. How are you, Sister Joyce? I'm fine, Sister Cecilia. How are you and the family? We're all fine. Uh, I feel like you asked how you're faring during this rainy season, and I hope the children are coping very well with the cold weather. It's nice to know that you think about us. <laughs> Sister Joyce, that is what we do in a new church. Every member of the church is important to us. We love one another. We are one happy family. Don't you want to join this wonderful family of God? Anyway, I've told them that you're wonderful. And they're looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Ma. 
Thanks for the nice things you say about us. But really, we don't have any problem with Pastor Samuel. You know, he has been very good to me and my family. <laughs> Why do you want to stay with a man who is not spiritually filled? A man who is very arrogant. Huh? There are no two ways to salvation. Those who left Pastor Samuel's church for her church are thanking their stars. You see? Sister Jones, why? You need to come to her church and see how God is using my husband to perform wonders and miracles. We are grateful to God for what he's doing in our lives through Pastor Samuel. I'm happy you're doing well too. I'll assist you with prayers and I expect that you two will do the same for us too. Anyway, if that is how you feel, I wish you best of luck. Thank you. Bye. Why are they refusing to join our church? I'm sure Pastor Samuel must have placed a spell on them. Hmm. Pastor, if I tell you this, you'll be shocked. What is it? Do you know that Brother Ben has started a church? What? Ah. Who told you? I mean, how did you know? My wife, of course. Uh. You may not know this, but my wife is a very close friend of Brother Ben's wife. Really? I even tried to, to, to trace the church, and I found out that Evangelist Oluagbimi, uh -huh. Brother Tunji, and some elders, they were there. Uh -huh. Yes. I saw them with my two eyes. Ah. No wonder. They were not at the service yesterday. Yes. Yes. Uh. In spite of all you did for them, these people are a bunch uh. of disappointment. <sighs> Evangelist Joseph. Yes, Pastor. You know what? What? What is it? Let's just leave everything to God. I agree with you. I'll see you tomorrow, Sister Tokwe. My regards to the family. Sister Cecilia. Oh. Sister Cecilia, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. And how is the family? They are all fine. How is uh, Pastor Ben? He's fine. How are we? Thank God. I learned that your husband has set up uh, a church. Yes. It's all for the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, but, um, I remember I advised your husband uh, if he had any cause to part ways with uh, Pastor Samuel at all, he should have done so with, uh, you know, a peaceful mind, you know, without any rancor. You see, children of God should not quarrel. You see, we had to tolerate Pastor Samuel for too long. Imagine the way he was ordering my husband about, not minding the fact that we built that church together. He's taking all the glory. He doesn't even care about us. Uh, my sister, um, you see, all the glory goes to God, not to any man at all. Mm -hmm. I believe that you should have allowed the church to settle the quarrel between, uh, between you, rather than living in annoyance. Remember that you, you helped them to, us to build the church. You know. Well, I still believe you can come back um, to the church. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not possible. We have uh, set up a new church, and we are happy over there. Even some of your members are with us. <laughs> That's a very big mistake you are making. No, no, no. What do you mean? It's a big mistake. Um, you see, the Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 15 no. that Apostle Paul, while he was preaching all over the world, he went from place to place, Jerusalem, and all over the place, but he avoided preaching at all those places where Jesus Christ had preached before because he was trying to avoid uh, building on Christ's foundation. He wanted to lay his own foundation. So you see, my sister, all those people in the church, in your church, that you have taken from our church, they are not members of your church. <laughs> yes, they are I... not. Because they are not your converts. I believe what you should have done is this. One, that you should have sought peace with Pastor Samuel, two, we should have uh, waited for God's time, and of course, 
even you should have sought his blessings before leaving. I, I thought you are reasonable. Ah. So you are one of them. said that those that trust in you and worship you are like Mount Zion that shall never be moved in Jesus name. Father, I come against every negative forces against me in the name of Jesus. Your word says you are my salvation and my light and I shall not be afraid of anything. Your word says no weapon formed or fashion against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. Arise, O God, and let my enemies be scattered. Father, thank you for deliverance. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wonderful, lovely faces, oh, yeah. beautiful faces, oh, yeah. ordained from heaven. Oh, yeah. I have told you in this church, no more one thousand naira offering, yes. no more two thousand naira offering, yes. because my God is a God of full measure. Yes. Amen. Amen. You are going to be millionaires. Yes. Somebody say million. Somebody say millionaire. millionaire. Somebody say million, million, million. million, million, million. Amen. Amen. I have told you, give your tithe to the church. Oh, yes. I'm not after your money. Oh, yes. The Lord has blessed me. Yes. He has blessed my wife. Yes. But I'm asking God's blessing upon your lives. Oh, yes. And I want you to prosper. Oh, yes. Prosper. Oh, yes. Overtake. Oh, yes. Move forward. Oh, yes. uh -huh. oh, yes. Let me tell you what the Lord says about those who give their tithe. Preach it, Pastor. Open your Bible to the book of Malachi, uh -huh. chapter 3, verse 8. <laughs> if you are there, say, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Tell them. Test me in this, yes. says the Lord Almighty. Yes. And see if I will not throw open the floodgates of the house. <laughs> God bless you. That is the promise of the Lord concerning you. Now I want you to do something. This is another round of offering. Another round of offering to the Lord. Now bring a fresh offering. Dip your hand into your pocket. The biggest amount. Bring it out. Attach what you need. What you need. Whatever you need. Everything you desire in your life. Just write it on the paper. Attach it to the offering. Give it to the Lord. And test if he's not going to bless you. Multiply. 
please spare Lamborghini for in touch for me. Because it's the most expensive car in the world. Please. You're taking it from the highest level. Yes, now. Nah. If you think, if you think big, you'll be big. Somebody say, uh-huh. Uh-huh. You want to be millionaires? Yes. You stay in this church. Yes. This is where the Lord is. Yes. It's happening. Praise the Lord. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes. I'm not saying that you shouldn't uh, preach prosperity. But the Bible says, Seek ye the kingdom of God first, and all other things shall follow. People must know about salvation. Let's build this church on the rock, which is Christ Jesus. I understand you, honey. But you know what? My God is not a God of poverty. Do you know what the Bible tells me? And that is my own watchword. It says, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Seek, and the floodgate of riches shall be opened unto you and poured upon you like rain. Yes, what you ask for is what you get. Hmm? They asked me to stay behind for a while, but I'm lonely here. No, I deliberately kept you away from the city to keep those gossiping lips in check. There's nothing bad in what I've done. After all, King David had 450 wives, and I have just two. Ben, <laughs> just arrange how you join you in Ibadan before you add to the number of your wives. I don't trust those girls in Ibadan. Uh oh, Tenny, don't be funny. By the time I bring your son to that church of yours without prior notice, you will realize I'm not kidding. <laughs> you dare not do that. I trust you. Uh, I trust you. You are better not try me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm ready to eat now. My food. Get up. <laughs> Get up now. Baby. Teddy, Teddy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and bring my son up. Yes, who is that? Come in, the door is not locked. <clears throat> oh, Brad Davy, that was you. Uh uh. Why is everybody in Nevada? Have your seat. Have your seat. I felt I should drop in and ask after uh, the welfare of everyone. Um, I'm passing on Mama's message to you. Hey, hey, Mama. As I learned, your husband is in town. Yes, he is, but he's sleeping. He will be leaving for a station later today. Um, I would like to pass on Mama's message to you. She is happy now that your husband is known in the family, but uh, she will want both of you to solemnize the union and live together as husband and wife. Mama should be patient with us. We are working on that. And everything will be all right. So why is it bad on now? Mm, I'm not thank God. God. Thank God. Anyway, exchange is no robbery. I move out of Ibadan. You move him. So how is everybody? <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> thank God. Uh, I've started the work of God in one of the churches in Ibadan. Hey, good. I know you are committed to God's work. This is a season of greatness. You are blessed. Uh, you know the good news? My pastor is very nice. He accepted me immediately and got there. And yeah, I mean, darling. Oh, sorry. Brother David, meet my husband. My husband oh, it is well with. You know each other? Looks like. Uh, uh, no, we have never met. I'm very sure. Yes, I'm very sure. Oh, my baby. Yeah. I hope you have prayed very well concerning your wedding. Right, sir. Mm, so the Lord has set this, the date aside and um, it's going to be worthwhile in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's have a word in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, your children have come to your presence and they are going to be married in a few weeks. Lord Almighty, 
plan ahead for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. At the end of everything, let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. Go in peace, okay? And come for the Bible study tomorrow. Make sure you're there. God bless you. Yes. Sir, Pastor, that sermon was a powerful one, sir. Oh, well, that... Shepherd loaded. I enjoyed the preaching a lot, sir. <laughs> that is how I normally dish it out of them. See, um, you see, we call it a fizzy. It is not by your might, sir. All the glory belongs to God. <laughs> well, all glory, all glory to him. Ah, uh, well. Uh, sir, um, my name is David Daniel. I just moved in recently from Kaduna and um, ever since I've been attending your church. Because I live nearby. I see. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, you're welcome. But, sir, um, I was a worker in my church in Kaduna and okay. uh, we would like to continue here as well. That shouldn't be any problem. Uh, maybe you'll have to see me later. I'll Thank introduce you, you to the elders and they'll fix you up. Thank you very oh, much. Okay. Honey, the elders are waiting for you. Oh, darling. Uh, well, we'll go and meet them soon. This is, is this uh, madam? Yes, this is madam. This is my wife. This is Brother David. Oh, nice meeting you. Um, he was a worker in the church in Kaduna, but he has oh. just joined us. Okay. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. So, ah. I intend introducing him to the elders later. Okay. So, we'll handle this case, okay? okay. Thank so, you. So, see you, Brother David. Nice meeting you. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. Are you not the young man who just joined my church at Ibado? This is supposed to be a secret between you and I. Between I and Tenny, we have kept a secret. Okay, don't let my wife hear this. Don't let anyone know. Is that clear? It's okay. Don't okay. shake. It's okay. You are David. Are you okay? Yes. Uh, um, it's nothing really. Um, oh. It's just that uh, I remember that I must be in a meeting in Bado. You look um, as if you've seen a ghost. Uh, I think I must have my lead now. Ah, uh, just now? Wait, now let me prepare something for you to eat. Thank you very no, much. No, he's in a hurry. Let him go. Uh, <laughs> thank okay. you very much. All right, all right. Thank so, you. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Okay. Something bothering my mind. Your mind? Is there any problem too big for Christ to tackle? Out with it. Well, you know very well that we've been friends for quite some time now. And uh, this is known to members of the church even before you became a pastor. And nothing can take that away from us. The relationship is still as intact as ever. You know, I have this kind of confidence in you. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Actually, what I have to say has to do with gossip going about in the church. It actually started as uh, little murmurings, but later I grew louder and louder in the church. I heard you have a woman outside matrimony. <laughs> And you believe that? What can people say out of jealousy? It's not true. It's a bogus lie. <laughs> well, I know there can't be smoke without fire. But all I just want is that, that you be careful, please. Watch the way you do things now, especially now that you are a pastor. You are now born again. You know, all things have passed away and all things have become new. You are now a new creature, a new being. Please, for goodness sake, don't go back to your vomits. Please don't go back to the ways of the world. Please. Brother Tunji, I understand your anxiety. It's the work of rumor mongers and they can't get us. Mm. They're going to do everything possible to make sure that they don't split the membership of this church. They are out to separate us and that won't work. Well, actually, I trust you. <laughs> I only came to confirm what you have just said. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you too.
Ah, Brother David. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Um, God bless you. Um, there is a matter I need to discuss with you, sir. It has been bothering me for long. Is it that serious? Uh, well, uh, no matter how big a problem is, Christ is able to solve it. Thank you very much. You remember the incident that uh, occurred between you and I in my sister's place? I think you should ask for forgiveness and confess the sins before the congregation. A man that covereth his sins shall not prosper. That is what the Bible says in Proverbs 28 verse 13. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you should. You should. I am referring to the affair you're having with my sister. A man who desires to be a bishop uh, must be blameless, vigilant, sober, uh, be of good behavior, uh, giving to authority, and uh, above all, must be a husband of one wife. That is what uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2 says. And what does the Bible say about a man who wants to be a teacher of bishops? I'll leave you to go and find that out from the Bible, the chapter and the verse, and come back here. Good day. Evangelist. Yes. My period has stopped to flow in the last two months. Meaning? Meaning I am pregnant. You are what? Pregnant. Shh. Do you realize the implication of what you are saying? How, don't you know that I am a married man? Uh, look, if this is meant to be a joke, stop it. I don't like such jokes. Go look for your period elsewhere. I have nothing to do with this. You are not serious. You mean you don't know the outcome of what you took me into? And you know my husband has traveled out of the country. Would you expect me to pin the pregnancy? All right, let me think. Uh. Uh, Brother Charles, sister. Did he hear anything? It's none of my business. You are better about this pregnancy. Do we meet at the normal time? 7 p.m. this night. I will make it. But the earlier, we get rid of this mess, the better for both of us. Sir, I am not making up stories. I heard all that was said. If that affair is a courage between two choir leaders, we will end up having a rotten group of choir choristers. Music is a great source of ministration, not only on earth, but also in heaven. We should not allow those two to defile the work of God with um, fornication and adultery. Um, brother, brother David, uh, I want you to just take it easy. Eh? Take it easy. Uh, we will wade into the matter as soon as uh, Pastor Ben comes back from the convention. Hey, but, we, we have to, you know. But must we wait that long? <sighs> brother David, do you want to be the witness? The prosecutor and the judge? Look, listen, we have to follow the due process. Now listen, you have made a very serious allegation and we have to investigate it thoroughly. Hey, relax, uh -uh. relax, Brother David. It is work, eh? Okay, sir. It is work. Relax. Thank you. Uh -huh. Pastor, Pastor. Ah, huh? Brother David, how are you? God bless you. Oh, Pastor, the church offering is supposed to be in the church safe. Where are you taking them to? Ah, uh -uh, Brother David, why are you so inquisitive? You've been working in this church for some time and you know, you understand things like this. Uh, uh, no, no, I have never seen a pastor take home the day's offering. They are always kept in the church safe. <laughs> Do you think those who give money to the church give it with good intentions? No. I have to take this money home for sanctification from demonic powers. Should a man of God believe that satanic powers could conquer him? Uh, look, 
Brother David, as a deliverance minister, I know the devil is very, very cunning. He can be trying all sorts of things. So I need to take this money home for proper cleansing. Proper cleansing? You talk as if you are of little faith. I don't believe in all these demonic powers. Once you are covered with the blood of Jesus, you are saved. Hmm? I see. Hmm. Huh. Brother David, general overseer in the making. Look, I'm taking this money home for sanctification. Good day. God bless you. You are welcome, Pastor. Brother David, the elders of this church have met and we have decided to relieve you of your duties as a worker in this church. But, sir. No, 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 Brother David. This is not an appeal court, okay? A decision has been taken and uh, you just have to respect that decision. You see, the congregation of this church is decreasing every day because of your stupid attitude. Do you understand what I'm saying? And we all are tired of your harshness. After all, I mean, everybody has come to the church to seek their salvation. I am a victim of sowing the seed of immorality in this church. I caution those who by their actions had led people astray. Imagine Sister Gbemi stealing from the church offering. I cautioned her. I called Sister Bosse kissing another woman's husband in the church vestry. I warned her to mend her ways. I later reported the matter to the church authority. I challenged Pastor Ben on his decision to take the offering home. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 3, the duties of the men of God are boldly spelled out. Verses 16 to 21 state that God has chosen us as watchmen over the congregation, as Ezekiel was over the people of Israel. If someone is doing evil and we fail to warn him so that his life is safe, God will hold us responsible after his death. If a sinner mends his ways and sin no more, he will receive eternal life and every other thing will be added unto, unto him. Enough of that, enough of that, Brother David, enough of that nonsense. Enough of that. Ah, now, who, who, who has made you a judge over us? Ah. What, what, what sort of rubbish is this? Didn't you find that in the Bible? Nonsense. I'm sure you are one of those that goes about scattering the fold. But why all these Bible references? I wonder. After all, we are all sinners. Sister Enyona, I know we are all sinners. But we cannot persist in sin and expect the glory of God to fall on us. We should not allow sin to dominate us. We must shun evil and uh, live a righteous life. <laughs> Remember, Christ wants us to be perfect. Uh, look here, Brother David. I, I would advise that you first get rid of the log from your eye. And then perhaps you'll see well enough to, to, to deal with the, the speck in your friend's eye. David, you see, the way you go about your righteousness nauseates me. I feel so irritated. <laughs> Mr. Holier than the holiest. But is it that um, we are all. I mean, uh, I'm going to shut up. Look here. You want to beat up the others? Do you want to beat us up? Huh? Look here. Enough of all these atrocities. Mr. Seal Hall, Hear Hall, No Hall, <laughs> Mr. Do Good. Look here, if that is what you do where you come from, let me tell you something. There's no room for such things here. You cannot do that here. Understand me? 
Well, I think I want to use my precious time wisely. Let me go straight to the point. You cease to be a worker from this church from this moment. Now an ordinary man. That is it. I'll see you. Thank you, Pastor. Hmm. The truth shall prevail. Mm, Mr. Holy Adana, let's wait for the truth. Peace be unto you all. Uh, and unto you, Pastor. And unto you, Pastor. pastor. Uh, when elders walking this way, it's an evidence that the day is going to be rosy. So, what gold, silver, and bronze have you brought for me? Uh, well, if we had such ornaments, it should have been good. But what we have is very, very shameful. Ah. What's the problem? What we hear about our pastor ah, is unpleasant. Ah. Two girls brought complaints that our pastor put them in the family way. As I was thinking of what to do, I got another bombshell that our pastor is the father of Tola's baby. Ah, that is rather shameful. You must be out of your senses to believe such. It's a trash. Why did that useless Tola not point to me when you were asking for the father of the baby girl? Why did she not? Uh, oh well, this is a matter between the two of you. One thing I know is that a baby cannot have two fathers. I would advise that you go and sort it out yourself. And um, I also want to say that if Chola insists that our pastor is the father of a baby girl and the pastor says no, then we are left with no alternative than to go for the DNA test. Yes. At least that is the only way we can exonerate ourselves and the pastor yes. from this mess. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it is so apparent that you have come to insult me in my house. And I won't take that trash from you. What sort of nonsense is this? If you don't have anything serious doing, I will advise that you look elsewhere to make yourselves more meaningful. Good day. Hot. Nothing would have happened without us. Yes, it was wonderful. <laughs> it was marvelous. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> it's the ephesi. <laughs> it's the spiritual ephesi. Let me have a look at that uh, envelope. <laughs> this is 200,000 naira. 200,000 naira? I tell you. This is good. <laughs> God is good. God has not started. I just pray that the anointing of God will be increase in proportion to the responsibility that God has placed on you. Amen. Amen. It's God's a fizzy, you know. <laughs> we are very few. We're not common. The likes of me, we're not so common in, the, in Christendom. So um, God has a way of blessing us. Yeah. Keep this for me. Okay. Let me take a rest for a while. Okay. You look so tired. Yes, yes I am. <sighs> I'll join them at the Bible class. Okay. Let me quickly get me a cup of water. Ah. 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 
What do you want to do with the cutlass in your hand? I want to kill Pastor Samuel. Ah. What exactly has he done to you? Can't you see? He has this towering height over everyone. He's too domineering. I must get him off the way. Ben, you are spiritually blind. You do not walk and live in the spirit. You are walking in the flesh. And that is why you have the urge to kill Pastor Samuel. Remember, son, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I'll advise you to live and walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the desires of your sinful nature. Baba, can't you understand? I have no option. I want to crush him. I want to kill him. Should I tell you what the sinful nature does? Yes. The works of the sinful nature is clear. It enjoys sexual immorality, impure acts, and wild living. In fact, it enjoys and does everything that is evil. Son, let me tell you those who enjoy such evil will not see the kingdom of God. Mm. Or rather, I'll advise you to live and walk in the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is love, peace, joy, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control, against which there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have made their sinful nature to his cross. Therefore, if you must live in the spirit, then make a match or match a step with the spirit. Do not be proud. Do not make your neighbors angry. And do not covet what belongs to others. Baba, I have no option. I want to kill him. I must crush him. I have a future, Baba. Son, to obey is better than sacrifice. Do not cut down the tree. Do not cut down the tree. Do not cut down the tree. Pastor Samuel. <laughs> you, Jeffrey, you, so you could do this to me? God, I, I can't believe that this thing is happening to me. You, Jeffrey, my God, what is this thing there is no way the boss wouldn't have known about all this. I tried to cover you up for five days with all sorts of excuses. And, and go, go, just take a look at what you are saying. Take a look at. In fact, do you know one thing? Just because I left the office just, just for two weeks, I could never believe this that you can do something like this to me. And do you know what? Rima leaves. I assure you. I'm not going to take this slightly with you. Get out, idiot. Can I help you? Pastor, please help me. You have to help me pray. I need divine prayer so that this my legs of two years of cancer will heal it immediately. Pastor, you have to help me, please. Don't let me die like this. Uh, yes, uh, God will heal you, but put it down first. Pastor, you have to help me. You see, my brother, you have to unburden your soul to the Lord. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the only one sufficient for you. Pastor, I know, but... Uh, wait. Look, you see, 
whoever wants to do anything, if you want to get water out of stone, you have to work hard. We're going to start special prayers tonight from 12 midnight. 12 midnight? Yes. You know, that is when the satanic forces and the witches and wizards fly around. And they're not here. Uh, not in this office. Mm. Mm. Outside. So we're going to pray and destroy that realm. They are behind all those problems. Mm. I think um, what you need to do is... Um, a hundred thousand naira will do. One hundred thousand naira? Oh, yeah. Pastor, I don't have that much. You have to help me, please. Pastor, help me. Please help me consider <laughs> My brother, you must learn to see beyond your nose. Yes. Your brother just arrived from the UK. Yes, yes. Go to him for assistance. I'm sure he'll be willing to do it. Maybe I will have to, to go and ask him for a loan or something. Very good. So you must, you must act fast. Very fast. Okay? And um, if you don't do it fast, <laughs> that's your, that your leg. Eh? Um, you may just have it amputated in future. Or... Pastor! It's sweet. God will handle everything, but just do what I told you. Hmm? Pastor, please help me. Please. Pastor, help me. Wait to it. The Lord is going to heal you. Let me pray for you. Um, most importantly, make sure you get that 100,000 there. I will try, Pastor. Fantastic, fantastic. Now let's pray. Jesus. Amen. Eternal Rock of Ages, Lord, remove this leg cancer by fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. By fire. Amen. Pastor Ben! Pastor Ben! Kunde, is that not our pastor? Yes, Papa. He's our pastor. I told you, he deserves to die. Oh, you have been recalled back to your office. That's a two-in-one miracle. The Lord has done it. He has not started yet. <laughs> no problem, yes. You see, the more reason why you have to give to the Lord now. You have to give more to him. He needs your offering. No problem. That was one of those things. You know, bad things happen to good people sometimes. If you are good, it doesn't mean that you receive what is good. Oh yes, that's how God works. Yes, no problem. Congratulations. So we'll see you later, yeah, yeah. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. And your husband are whining and dining in sin. 
You have forsaken the living God to worship other gods. Remember what the first commandment says. It says, Thou shalt have no other gods but me. You are inviting the wrath of God. Forsaking the Lord? No, Baba. The message is not for me. I reject it in the name of Jesus. Baba, we are devoted Christians. We have converted many souls for Christ. It is true. Many people worship God with their lips. Only with their lips. But their hearts are far away from God. Hellfire awaits all sin. And destruction awaits a disobedient child of God. Baba, what can we do to be saved? Baba, how can we enter the kingdom of God? Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. They trust in chariots and in horses because they are many, and in horsemen because they are strong. They look not unto the Holy One of Israel, nor seek the Lord. Isaiah 57 makes it clear that those who worship idols under every green tree, even those that pour drink offer onto the stone of the stream, are inviting the anger of God. Cecilia, you are guilty as I have said. You and your husband must turn away from your evil ways and be born again. Then you will be saved. Baba, 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 please don't go. Baba, 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 please don't go. Baba, 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 please don't go. Baba, Baba, don't go. Baba, Baba, don't go. Baba, Baba, don't go. Baba, Baba, don't go. Baba. Baba, yeah. Baba, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Ah, so it's a dream. It's a dream. Ah. Dear, that we worship idols under every green tree. Hmm, that remains a puzzle to me. <sighs> Pouring libation into streams. <sighs> Dear, I, I can't understand. I just can't understand. <laughs> <sighs> Dear, there is nothing to worry about. It's just a dream. And dreams can be very funny sometimes. It's a dream. Don't worry yourself, okay? Okay. Good. Offer sacrifice to stones under the river? Worshipping idols under the tree? Hmm. Hmm. God gave man dominion over the streams and the forests and all other things therein. To dominate or use those resources cannot go against God's wish. Ah, that's sure.
Eh. Who? Oh my God. Who? Jesus. Eh, dear. Huh? De dear, where are you? Who are these people? My God. I'm here. Where? Where? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, what's going on? Ah. Oh my God. Oh, what's going Something on? exploded and we can't see again. We my can't God. see again. Let me call the doctor. Ah, no, no, no. No, no. Don't call the doctor. Don't call the doctor. Call, call Pastor Samuel. Pastor Samuel? Call Pastor Samuel. What for? No, 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 no. We don't need him here. We don't need him here. Call Pastor Samuel. I have sinned against him. I need to make confession. Sin? I had to. I need to confess to him I have sinned. Please, I need to be healed. He needs to forgive My me. God. Call, call him, please. Just obey. Just obey. Obey. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Call him, call. I can't even remember his number. Ah, search. His search your phone. Search. Okay. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Oh, hello, Pastor Samuel. Yeah, who is this? It's me, Cecilia. Oh, ah, Sister Cecilia. The Lord bless you. Ah, the Spirit of the Lord is one. You know, I was just about coming to your house. How are you? Oh, this is an emergency. Please, my husband needs to see you urgently. Please. Ah, please, we want you to come and meet us in the church. Oh, uh, but I don't know the way to your new church. Oh, we, we are in uh, Blueberry Street, near the Testaco. We are called uh, Church of Miracle. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, expect me soon. Okay, I'll be expecting you, sir. All right. Happened. It's my husband and this man. Are you sick? Pastor, why are you lying down? Sister Cecilia, who's for your husband? I don't you know. have come only for the elders meeting. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sick, but I have sinned against God. I have sinned against God. <laughs> yes, please come in. Please come in. Brother Suji. You're welcome. Hey, is that, good afternoon. Hey, is that Pastor Samuel? Here? Yes. Is that Pastor Samuel? Is that Pastor Samuel? Ben. Ben. Pastor Samuel, where are you? Where are you? I'm here. Where are you? Ben. Pastor Samuel. I've sinned against you. Please forgive me. Forgive me. God is merciful. He forgives, particularly when we genuinely repent. He will forgive each and every one of us. Pastor, I have sinned against you. I need to confess. I need to tell you the atrocities I've committed against you, Pastor Samuel. Ben, go ahead, go ahead. This is the high command of the great Ramses, the rulers of the earth, and the partakers of all the pleasures of this world. Now, why are you here? Oh, great one. I have brought my friend Pastor Ben as discourse for initiation. He wants his church filled up with a very large congregation. <laughs> so, Pastor, you two want to be the partaker of the world, eh? Great one. I, I want to establish a church. And I want my church filled, as I said. But the present church I'm in Pastor Samuel is our general overseer. He's too domineering, and I want to win his congregation over. That's simple. Whoever wants the meat of the elephant must be ruthless and uncompromising. Can you hear me? Yes, Great One. You have to kill someone and bury him or her right inside the church. We will then give you a bottle of anointing oil. That's going to be your anointing power. 
sprinkle some quantity at the entrances of the church. Then write down the names of the top members of Pastor Samuel's church on a piece of paper and sprinkle some oil on it. Now, they will not only join your church, but they bring other people too. Look here, we boast of what we are capable of doing. If after the third week, the church is not full to the extent that the whole congregation is struggling for chairs to sit, then may the sun not rise again. Uh, uh, great one, I want to make one more request. Go ahead. If we can't do it, then nobody on earth can do it. I, I want to get Pastor Samuel off the way. I want him killed. Let's take it easy. You hear me? The snail climbs the tallest tree in the forest gently. You will get there if exercise some patience. Patience. Great one. We are now in the same fraternity. What is the essence of the power we have if you cannot use it to help one another? He wants Pastor Samuel dead. That is his wish. Mm. You have to give me time. Because Pastor Samuel is a very difficult target. The crystal ball says so. But notwithstanding, we have to do something. Have it. Thank you, Great One. <laughs> the Great One. My request is that I be made the permanent secretary in my ministry. To be sincere, there were four of us vying for this post. After the last visit I made to you, I used what you gave me. Suddenly, one of them tendered his letter of retirement. Surprisingly, another one has for voluntary transfer to another ministry. But the great one, my greatest fear right now is that I'm left with the most qualified and I'm afraid he's going to get the job. Man of little faith. From four, the number is reduced to two. Who tells you your remaining contender would now withdraw from the race before the end of time? Don't just stand there and stare at me. Go and get me the names of the man's parents. Dead or alive. And their cognomen, Ricky. That's all we need. Thank you, the great one. May you endure. I shall do as directed. The great Ramses. The great Ramses. The great Ramses. Pastor Bear, my shotte. Pastor Bear, my shotte. How are you? I'm fine. How's everything? I'm fine. fine. Uh -uh. What's been happening? Oh, you no, know, Pastor Bear. What is your impression about the Freemasons? Oh, it's unbelievable. Look. The church is growing, can't you see? I told you so. You see, a man who does not know how his mate came about his wealth will only succeed in running himself to death. That's true, that's true. But um, there's a problem. What is that? You see, I want Pastor Samuel dead. Pastor Ben, <coughs> don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. You see, I told Baba about it. Baba gave me some concussion. And I used it, but the man is still alive. He's still alive. You see, I, I, I don't know, but when I told Baba, he now said uh, I should be patient. Oh, you know one thing, Pastor Ben, you cannot worry the son thrice. You see? Uh, by the way, why do you want Pastor Samuel dead? Ah, see this ignoramus. Don't you know that as long as he stays in the church, he's going to be a threat to us. He's dominating us. 
I see. Look, I see. if I get him out of the way, yes, then we'll have the congregation to ourselves. And that means more money for us. Now oh, you're talking. <laughs> I like that. Now you're talking. Wait, wait. But now that Baba's coming will take some time, what do we do before he comes? Well, in fact, there are, there are certain terrible things I've been hearing about him. He has been preaching bad against our church. Oh, Pastor Samuel? I tell you, it's embarrassing. How can he be saying such a thing? So what I intend to do is that we'll get hired assassins to kill him. Good, 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 good. All right, you see, I will rush to the motor park right away and I'll tell Skidro to get his boys ready for the job. Fantastic. Very good. That's smart of you. <laughs> uh, God bless you. Oh. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> uh. You see, guys, um, I don't want you to do the shooting at a point blank range. So that um, there won't be witnesses. I don't want people to suspect us. Okay? Do the job neatly. So what do we do? Look guys, there's no school debate. As you can see, we're here for a very, very serious business. What we need to do is kidnap him to a secluded place. Kill him. I think that way nobody will be able to witness the killing. Yes. And there will not be clear. Exactly. That's what I want. In that case, we need this chemical spray to knock him out of his senses. Mm. Let me have it. That's nice. Uh, Shallow brain. Uh, uh, make sure you test that thing very well before you take it for an impression. That's nice. Ah, let me see. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> that works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> so it gets him off balance, eh? Ah, that's good. Uh, but, um, <coughs> you see, uh, when. Uh, <coughs> what is that? Place? Was that the spray or something? Uh, what have you added to this thing? Well, wait, wait, wait. <coughs> can it be that, um, can it be that chemical? Well, yes. no, um, no, I'm feeling uncomfortable. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. I hope, I hope this pastor somewhere. <coughs> I hope this part of Samuel is not on <laughs> Wait, wait, where are you? I, I, I hope this part of Samuel is not... Please, <laughs> Please help me, I can't see. I'm blind. Benjamin, but why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ben, you my trusted friend, the one that I gave my all, I treated you like a brother. You ate at my table. I shared everything with you. You now took your heels up against me and you wanted to kill me. <laughs> Psalm 11 says it all. I was just coming to warn you to be careful. Help! Hey, somebody help me! the other elders, you rebelled against God. You left the church before it was time to leave. You were ungrateful. Just like the children of Israel who rebelled against God on their way to the promised land. God blessed you. He nourished each and every one of you. In spite of what he did for you, he prospered you. 
And instead of you to praise God, you refused. You were ungrateful unto him. You rebelled against him. And what does God say about children that rebel against him? Woe unto those that rebel against God. Because you led the flock astray. You polluted the word of God in the minds of the people. Pastor, Pastor. is there anything we can do? Please, Please, we are sorry. Please, is there anything we can do? Please. Anything, Pastor. Please pray for me. <laughs> God is merciful. Me. God is merciful. He doesn't desire the death of anyone, but that they repent. Father, you are a merciful God. Even when the children of Israel went astray, Lord, you punished them, but you gave them mercy. You are the only one that forgives. Lord, we use him as a point of contact for all those who have rebelled against your kingdom. Amen. Who have sought for other gods that cannot save. Amen. But Lord, have mercy and cleanse your church. Amen. Lord, we ask for your mercy. Amen. We ask for your mercy. Amen. Amen. Like, like. 